A lot of people know of famous actors who met their untimely deaths in horrific airplane crashes. Audie Murphy and Vic Morrow both perished in that matter. Then you have folks like Dean Martin and Jane Mansfield who passed away after getting into car accidents. But how many actors can you name who died in fires? We're not here to be entertained by the misfortune of others. Dying of a fire has to be one of the worst ways to go, and it's not particularly uncommon. Join Facts First as we take a look at eight stars whom you probably didn't know died in fires. Linda Darnell Born on October 16, 1923, Linda Darnell was an American actress best known for her roles in the movies Forever Amber, Unfaithfully Yours, and A Letter to Three Wives. She passed away April 10, 1965, after sustaining burns in a house fire the day before in Glenview, Illinois. Darnell had been staying at the home of one of her former secretaries, and her daughter had just recently received the news from her agent that three film contracts were waiting for her to sign. The actress found herself trapped on the second floor of the home when the heat and smoke from the blaze prevented her from descending the stairs. The fire in question had apparently started in the home's living room. Darnell and her former secretary had pleaded with the daughter to jump from the second floor window to save her life. After she had successfully made the jump, her secretary and friend stood on the window ledge screaming for help. At this time, amid all the chaos, she completely lost track of Darnell's whereabouts. And when firefighters finally arrived, she insisted they rescue Darnell before she was pulled to safety from the window ledge. When firefighters eventually found Darnell, she was lying unconscious next to the living room sofa, which was completely aflame. She was rushed to the burn unit at Chicago's Cook County Hospital, where it was found she had burns on more than three-quarters of her body. Sadly, she succumbed to her injuries the following day. Darnell's death was ruled accidental, and it was found further that the fire had started because of a lit cigarette. Both Darnell and her secretary were heavy smokers. Clifton Young Clifton Young rose to fame as a child actor, portraying the character Bone Dust during Our Gang's sound transition era. With his cleft chin reminiscent of Kirk Douglas, Clifton was a prominent face who appeared in several hit post-war films, including Dark Passage. He was especially lauded by critics for his portrayal of the conniving blackmailer who gave refuge to an escaped convict, played by Humphrey Bogart, in 1947's celebrated hit film Pursuit. That same year, he also starred in the horror thriller Possessed, and the following year, he appeared in Blood on the Moon. He frequently made appearances in Warner Brothers' popular Joe McDoke's comedy short films and played a villain in two Roy Rogers films. In 1951, Young hit a bit of a rough patch in his personal life and moved out of his home and into a hotel after filing for divorce from his wife. It was in this motel he died while smoking in bed. Now it's time to hear from you. If you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more celebrities who died in fires. Royce Applegate this veteran of cinema and television, who was best known for co-starring in the series Sequest DSV as Chief Petty Officer Manilow Crocker, died January 1, 2003 in a fire at his home in Hollywood Hills. He had just celebrated his 63rd birthday a week prior. Applegate was born in Oklahoma, and aside from his role in Sequest DSV, he was also known for his portrayal of Deputy Crawford in the sitcom Stir Crazy. In 1985, he also made appearances on Different Strokes, playing a family man turned kidnapper named Donald Brown. In 93, he appeared in the film Gettysburg, portraying Confederate General James L. Kemper. He reprised that role in the follow-up film Gods and Generals, which hit theaters in 2003. Applegate, whose career spanned 30 years, had also appeared in television shows like Dallas, Little House on the Prairie, and Home Improvement. Teresa Graves this actress and singer, who was born January 10, 1948, was best known for her starring role on the ABC crime drama series Get Christy Love, where she played the show's lead. Graves was also notable for being the second African-American woman to star in her own hour-long TV series, as well as for being the first black woman to star in a dramatic TV series. In the 70s, Teresa Graves was one of, if not the most popular black actress of the decade. She was a gorgeous woman whose name was frequently brought up in conversation by some of the most prolific female stars of the era. In 1974, Graves was baptized as a Jehovah's Witness, and almost immediately after joining the sect, she began using her fame and influence to bring attention to the persecution of members of her religion in Malawi. In addition to her beauty and charm, she was also a talented singer. 
But after a while of being on top of the world, she basically fell off the face of the earth, largely due to her conversion to the Jehovah's Witness faith, and wasn't heard of again until her death in 2002. On October 10, 2002, Graves' home in the Hyde Park neighborhood in LA caught fire due to a faulty space heater. She was found unconscious in her bedroom before being rushed to a nearby hospital where she later passed away. She was 54. Jack Cassidy Born John Joseph Edward Cassidy in 1927, but better known by his stage name Jack, this actor, singer, and director was best known for his decades-spanning work in the worlds of theater, TV, and film. Throughout his prolific career, he received multiple Tony Award nods as well as a win. He was also honored with a Grammy for his work on the Broadway musical production of She Loves Me in 1963. In addition to his Grammy and Tony wins, Cassidy was also nominated for two Primetime Emmy Awards. Jack's other claim to fame was fathering the teen idols David Cassidy and Sean Cassidy. On the evening of December 11, 1976, Cassidy invited his ex-wife, Shirley Jones, over to his apartment in West Hollywood for a couple of drinks, but she declined. Early the following morning, Cassidy lit a cigarette and subsequently fell asleep on his couch. When he was asleep, he dropped the lit cigarette, and its embers caught the Naga Hyde couch he was sleeping on ablaze. The flames rapidly spread throughout the building. His body was found near the front door of the apartment, but he was so badly burned, he had to be identified with dental records. Cassidy's body was cremated, and his ashes were spread in the Pacific Ocean. Robert Emmett O'Connor this American actor, who appeared in more than 200 films, spanning between 1919 and 1950, was perhaps best known for his portrayal of the bootlegger with a heart of gold, Patty Ryan, in the 1931 film The Public Enemy. He also played Detective Sergeant Henderson in 1935's A Night at the Opera, as well as the character Jonesy in Sunset Boulevard. He died on September 4, 1952, after sustaining severe burns in a fire. He was 77. Butterfly McQueen Born Thelma McQueen on January 7, 1911, Butterfly, as she was better known, was an actress and dancer, best known for her appearance in the iconic film Gone with the Wind as the character Prissy. McQueen faced much prejudice throughout her career due to the fact that she was an African American. She wasn't even permitted to attend the Gone with the Wind premiere because it was held at a whites-only movie theater. McQueen found herself typecast in the film industry as a maid. While at first she didn't mind playing these kinds of roles, after playing one over and over again, she began to resent it. She continued to act in films well into the 40s, and from there she moved to television, where she appeared in many different programs. In 1960, she won a daytime Emmy for her performance in an episode of the ABC After School special titled Seven Wishes of a Rich Kid. McQueen died December 22, 1995, at Doctors Hospital in Augusta, Georgia, after receiving severe burns in a fire that ignited after a kerosene heater she had attempted to light malfunctioned and erupted in flames. She was 84. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know about any of these celebrities who lost their lives in fires? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.